For any of you who listen to our show, you know that Tony and I are big fans of the card game Star Realms from White Wizard Games. This is that fun little deck builder, the space theme that uh, is very easy to learn, quick to play, that can just really take you by storm and you just want to play over and over again. And then they came out with the app version for the, the PC and the iOS and the Android systems and now it's just like caught everybody by storm as it seems like people are playing and talking about it all the time. In fact, I see more people talking and playing about it on the apps than they do the actual physical card game. Well, White Wizard didn't want to rest on their laurels and they wanted to go ahead and, and support this game by putting out some, some expansions and some more cards to add along to the base game. And we were very fortunate to get some early copies of that. And what we have here that I want to look at today are four new expansion decks, four new expansion packs that are going to be coming out for the game this holiday season. Now, I haven't opened any of these. I don't know any of the spoilers. So what I was going to do is open each one of these and quickly go through them. So this is going to be a complete spoiler list. If you want to be surprised by what's in these packs, then you might want to turn off and go listen to some other video. I hear there's a big new Star Wars trailer out or something like that, but I'm sure you're probably more interested in this. So here's what we got. There are four different packs. We have the Fleets and Fortresses, which is going to add some uh, more uh, ships uh, to the existing game. We have Bases and Battleships. We're just going to add some nice new bases to the game. Then we have two new types of cards. One's called Events, which will come out and affect everything on the table when it comes out into the uh, trade row. And then we also have Heroes, which you can buy from the trade row that goes into play on your side and does special effects. So let's start with the easy stuff first, and let's go with Fleet and Fortresses. And again, I'm excited. This is just like opening packs of cards with like in the... the um, Really, I got this. Come on, man. It's embarrassing. This should do it. Okay, finally, here we go. First, whenever you open a new pack of cards, you know what we all have to do, right? We have to uh, ah, get that new card smell. Good stuff. All right, let's quickly go through each of these. First, we have a, a patrol bot. Uh, this is going to give you uh, either uh, two money or four attack. And the special um, ally ability is that you may scrap a card in your hand or discard pile. Well, we've seen other bots. It seems uh, pretty typical. We have uh, two of those patrol bots. Next, we have an outpost, the border fort. Uh, this is an outpost with a five strength. It gives you either one money or to attack, and the ally ability is scrap a card and hand discard pile. Okay, still kind of pretty basic stuff. Next, we have two cargo launchers from the yellow faction. Draw a card, you can discard for an additional money. Okay. Uh, we have a brand new outpost, the Star Fortress. Attack of three, draw a card, then discard a card. That's kind of cool, kind of continuing with the whole yellow mechanic of, of drawing additional cards. Ah, the blue, one of my favorite. Customs Frigate. You may acquire a ship of four or less and put it on the top of your deck. Again, another one of the nice, slick blue abilities of being able to take cards immediately out of the trade row and put them on the top of your deck so what you're getting, know what you're getting next time. It's a Customs Freight. There's two of those. In addition, there's the Capital World, which is uh, six life. And you also get to draw a card. And then there are a couple of Spike Pods. Which it does three damage, and you may scrap up to two cards currently in the trade row. And finally, there is a new green base, uh, which does four damage, and you may scrap a Trade Federation machine cult, machine cult or Star Empire card from your hand or discard pile. And if you do, draw cards. Another way to draw a mechanic. So there you go. There's our first pack of cards. Let's get on to the next one. Trust me, this, I'm not going to damage the cards. Bases and battleships. Let's see what we got here. Start. Uh, with the red faction, defense bot, cost of two, 
uh, does one damage. You may scrap a card in your hand or discard pile. If you control two or more bases, uh, then you're gonna gain additional attack. Got a couple of those. Got a Mega Mech, which costs five, does six damage, and you may return target base from play to its owner's hand. Love this. I'm already in love with this. There's always there's the mechanic of you know discarding a base directly. Um, uh, this doesn't require faction ability. This is straight on the card. Put a card. Now, obviously, you're going to see that base probably again uh, next turn, but still, it'll let you, let you do some damage immediately with this card. Faction ability is draw a card. Uh, we have a new two new uh, yellow outposts fighter base uh, with the faction ability. Uh, target opponent discards a card. Uh, Imperial Trader got one of those. Uh, three money and draw a card with the faction uh, ally ability being four damage. The Trade Raft, just a uh, cheap card, one cost, gives you one. The ability is draw a card you can discard for another. Got a couple of those. Construction Hauler, uh, cost six. Gives you three of your health back or life back. It gives you two money and you get to draw a card. The faction ability, you may put the next base you acquire this turn directly into play. Okay, I'm liking this too. I mean, there's a lot of cards that exist now for putting ships directly on the, like, on the top of your deck. But PNL put a base into play and go for that. Then there are a couple uh, new bases. Green, uh, Trade Wheel, cost three. Gives you one money each turn. Yellow ability, faction ability is additional two damage. And then the obliterator, oh my. Cost of six gives you seven damage. If your opponent has two or more bases in play, you're gonna gain. Oh my, you're gonna gain six. So if you got two bases in play, it's gonna give you 13 attack. Amazing. Moving on to the next. Okay, here's the new cards, the event cards. So what happens is, is when these come into play out on the trade road, you immediately resolve their effect and then they'll leave the trade. So new card mechanic. Uh, this is probably what a lot of people are excited for to add some new life to the game and, and uh, make it have some more strategy. And let's see what we got in here. All right. so. Here's what they kind of look like. Um, wow, let's just go through these real quick. So, black hole. Each player may discard up to two cards. For each card less than two that a player discards, that player loses four life. Ouch. Okay, so maybe these aren't very good events. Okay, fine. Uh, bombardment. Each player either destroys a base they control or lose six life. Okay, that's, that's not good either. Comet, this ain't gonna be good. Each player may scrap up to two cards in their hand or discard pile. Okay, so Comet wasn't that bad. By the way, the, the bottom text on all these always says, uh, when an event enters the trade row, do what it says, then immediately scrap it. So immediately you do it, you get rid of it, and it's gone. There's a couple of comments. Galactic Summit, each player gains seven life. Okay, okay, I can do that. Quasar, each player draws two cards, liking that. Supernova, each player loses five life. Scrap all the cards in the trade row. Trade mission, a couple of those. The player currently taking their turn gains four life and may put the next ship they acquire this turn on top of their deck and each other player draws two cards. Nice. Warp jump, each player draws three cards, then puts two of those cards back on top of their deck in any order. Ah, I love being able to go through my deck and, and being able to see what's coming up and change the order. So there we go. So there are events in here that are going to help you and some that are gonna hurt you. You never know when they're gonna come up. Uh, I, I like this. I'm, I'm ready to stick the, these in my uh, deck right now and start using them. Lastly, the heroes. Again, these are gonna be people that uh, come out into the trade row and you can immediately buy them. And when you do, they go directly into play after you buy them. And I'm sure people are like, well, how'd you know that if you didn't look at the cards? Well, I did do a little bit of advanced research on this to see what I was gonna be getting into. Otherwise, I'd look like a fool get on here not knowing what I was talking about. I've been missing the new card smell. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. All right. Uh, let's check a look, check these out. 
a couple war elders. Uh, these cost one. The thing with the heroes is to use their ability, there's gonna, you're gonna have to trash them, scrap them in order to take advantage of them. So for this one, for example, uh, it's a, uh, has a red faction on it. Each, shut up. Until the end of your turn, you may use all your um, red ally abilities and you may scrap a card from your hand. This guy's just gonna sit out there basically and uh, anytime you need to, you can scrap it, use all the red abilities because it's a real pain when you do have some of uh, your like cards come up and you wanna match and they're, they're not coming up for you. Well, at least you can force the ally ability to, to, to kick in. Uh, next, we have the High Priest Lyle and there is only one of those. His cost is two. Um, until the end of the turn, again, use your ally abilities, you can scrap a card. Then we have uh, some of the, the Cunning Captain, cost of one. It's uh, from the yellow faction. Until the end of the turn, you can uh, use all of your yellow ally abilities, then target discards a card again. So the red's about scrapping cards and the yellow's about causing somebody else to discard or draw a card, which is what Admiral Rasmussen does. Uh, again, when you uh, discard, you can use all your yellow abilities, but you can also draw a card. Uh, from the green faction, Special Director Ops, uh, which gives you four life and the blue ability. So until the end of the turn, uh, you may use all of your ally faction abilities. One thing I didn't say at the very bottom of the card says, heroes when acquired go directly into play, but they're not discarded at the end of your turn. Uh, we have uh, CEO Torres, uh, gives you seven life. It's part of the blue. And again, the whole thing is when you dis well, when you discard, it gives you the seven life and the, and the blue ability. And then we have the Ram Pilot from the green. Uh, when you discard, it gives you two attack and you can use all the green abilities. We have two of those. And finally, we have the Blob Overlord, cost two, discard, give you four damage and the ability to use all of your green faction ally abilities that are listed on the cards. So there you go. Uh, what do you think? You think this is gonna change the game? I mean, we, we have the heroes. I think the heroes are kind of cool. Um, I'm more impressed with the events. I think the events can really change the game. I like the fact that it affects both of you, right? It's not one of you getting to take advantage of it. Everybody's gonna either get hit, everybody's gonna be able to take advantage. I kind of like that. The heroes are kind of cool. I guess the whole thing, they are, they're just gonna stay in the play. And if you really, really read, need that ally faction ability, if you have a hero in play of the right color, then you'll be able to kick that off and help. So I'm really curious now too, is how long will it take for these to show up in the, uh, the apps? Uh, hopefully it won't be too long because I'm sure everybody's going to be itching to play with these new cards in the app. So there you go. This is going to be coming out uh, sometime this holiday season. Uh, if you have interest in those, be keeping an eye out for those. Again, again, four different expansions, each with 12 cards in each pack. There's some duplicates, there's some singles. So what do you think? Let me know. You interested in the Star Wars expansion? Let me know in the comments. I think I just said Star Wars expansion. So that Star Wars trailer is really on my mind. Let's try that again. Star Realms, if you're interested in Star Realms. Hey, if you're interested in Star Wars too, let me know in the comments too. What you think of the trailer?